Hi guys, and welcome back to the How Much Tech channel. In a world where technology allows us to carry entertainment and presentations in our pockets, the hunt for the best portable projectors has become a topic of interest for many. These compact devices are a game changer, providing an easy way to display visuals, whether for work or leisure. However, with the plethora of options available, finding the ideal portable projector can be a daunting task. That's where we come in. Our curated list of top portable projectors is your gateway to making an informed decision, ensuring you get a blend of quality, performance, and value. All links to the products mentioned in this video are in the description below, so if you're ready, let's get started. Number 5. XJimmy MOGO 2 Pro the XJimmy MOGO 2 Pro is a top-notch portable projector with impressive visuals and smart features available for a sensible price. We're impressed by its vivid image quality and onboard self-adjusting tech for quick autofocus and keystone correction, weighing just 2 11 kilograms. This is a decent companion for on-the-go entertainment, and its Android TV system is versatile with a large supply of apps. It is a bit of a shame that it doesn't have a built-in battery, but it's also not hard to power running off USB-C power banks or a USB-C wall adapter. The integrated pair of 8-watt speakers produces surprisingly rich audio, although when we tested it while watching episodes of Star Wars, Visions, we found that connecting it to an external Bluetooth speaker enhances the experience further. Its autofocus can sometimes be a bit of a pain, even if it doesn't take too much tweaking to sort out. Also, the brightness level, while an improvement from its predecessor, is not enough for indoor use without the curtains drawn. Because it lacks that onboard battery though, we do think it's well suited for at-home movie nights. Number 4. Anchor Nebula Mars 3 We reckon this is a sleek, albeit chunky option for those with durability and battery life as the main priority. There's nothing else on our list offering such a huge battery, and the Nebula Mars 3 can get you up to 5 hours of playback time. There are some caveats though, because you'll only get this monster battery life when you're in the eco mode which scales down the brightness severely and limits the volume. In the standard mode, you're getting 1000 lumens of brightness, but this goes down to 300 when saving battery. It's enough, but you had better be watching in dark conditions. The durability specs here are impressive too, with it offering dust, drop, and water resistance that we don't tend to see on portable projectors. If you're insistent on watching a movie outdoors as the rain starts to pour, well, this is the one for you. Like all the Nebula models we've tried, it's painless to set up and offers a useful built-in Android TV interface, ideal for finding and downloading your apps. Overall though, this is a brilliant projector for the outdoors. Perfect if you want something where you won't have to worry about it getting too wet or dusty. Its size makes it better suited to going with you in the car and carrying it around from room to room though, as if it weren't for the handle. We'd be questioning how portable a 4.5 kilogram. Number 3. XJimmy Halo Plus. When it comes to using a portable projector outdoors, even in the evening light, you'll want a bit more brightness than many of the models on our list can deliver. When on mains power, the Halo Plus delivers an impressive 900 lumens, or 600 when it runs on its battery. That should be more than enough for a viewing party on a summer night. We used it to watch movies both with the curtains drawn and not, and can attest that it gets bright enough to deal with a lot of ambient light. It's also a top pick for outdoor use because it has a handy kickstand and a tripod mount, it can project a bigger full HD picture than most portable models, and it has some impressive 5 watt internal speakers that'll help immerse you in whatever film. It's a shame that you can't get Netflix on the otherwise capable Android TV interface, and the audio via Bluetooth doesn't get all that loud. But this is great as an option for external connectivity with its HDMI and USB ports, and we love its reliable autofocus and auto keystone. It's a bit more expensive than our top pick, but the extra features make it worth it. Number 2. ViewSonic M2 This ViewSonic model is a fair bit more capable than the M1 Mini Pocket Projector, and delivers a higher full HD image quality, better sound, and more ports from a larger form factor. We think it's a good model for sports, because it has vibrant colors, and works a lot better with the bright scenes you'll find with sports coverage. It also has permanent motion smoothing that would affect the quality of movies, but will be ideal for news, football, or rugby. Ideal for an easy setup, the M2 has a quick auto keystone and autofocus too. When we tried it, 
we were able to beam a 90-inch picture onto a wall that was a metro away and found the sound from the dual Harman Kardon stereo speakers was loud enough to fill a room. For those who need better audio, it's easy to connect headphones or speakers with Bluetooth or the 3.5 aux jack. This model has a handy set of ports for connecting up whatever you'd need to, including a micro SD card slot, an HDMI port, and a USB-A port for a flash drive. There's also a major benefit for on-the-go sports fans. It can run on a USB-C power bank, as long it supports 45 watt speeds and power delivery output, like this anchor charger, to broadcast the match in your backyard. Number 1. Samsung The Freestyle We've got to admit that when Samsung's Freestyle came out with an almost $1,000 price tag, we weren't quite convinced that it lived up to that high cost. The price has dropped though, and its new RRP is $599 making it a much more tempting option that outperforms rivals going for just as much. It's compact compared to other projectors offering the same 1080 pixel resolution, and we think it's a versatile package that excels for indoor viewing in darker conditions, or as a small model to bring on your travels. We like its sleek look, and how it supports HDR, delivers 360 degree sound, is compatible with Bixby, Alexa, and Google Assistant, and has Samsung's Tizen Smart TV platform. The Samsung interface will be familiar to anyone that's used a smart TV from the brand too. It's a bit of a shame that this doesn't have a built-in battery, which affects how portable it is. You can link it up with Samsung's own freestyle battery base, or with a bigger third-party power bank with a minimum of 50 watts of charging speeds. Samsung offers a list of compatible models, and we'd recommend something like this 60-watt Anchor PD charger that we've used for longer trips and laptop recharging on the go. I hope you like this video. I have tried my best to provide accurate information about the products that are available on the market so that you can pick the correct product for your purpose. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.